কি খবর ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক টু দ্য চ্যানেল হ্যাজ বিন লট অফ নিউ রিসেন্ট ডেভেলপমেন্টস গোয়িং অন ইন দ্য পাস্ট কাপল অফ উইকস ইট হ্যাজ কেপ মি বিজি আই বি শেয়ারিং ইট অল উইথ ইউ গাইজ অ্যাজ দ্য রাইট টাইম কামস দ্যাটস ফাই দ্য আপলোডস হ্যাভ বিন লিটল লেস ফ্রিকুয়েন্ট ইউ ক্যান সি দ্য নিউ এডিশন টু দ্য ফ্যামিলি নিউ ম্যাকবুক এয়ার দ্যাট আই গটন বিং আ ভেরি নন টেক পার্সন মাই সেল দিস ফর দ্য বিগ ইনভেস্টমেন্ট অ্যান্ড ট্রাই টু টেক আ স্টেপ টুয়ার্স দ্য নিউ ডাইরেকশন and hopefully this pays off i'll be updating you guys very soon about what i am doing with this i've took after training for over 5 years in the offline domain finally decided to step path into the online domain and speaking about working offline and online speaking about the student teacher relationship i could not think of anything more beautiful and apt for today's video than to have one of my oldest students who i initially first started working with when i just started my journey who has come back to the city I'll have him down to do a workout together to do a deadlift workout together. We we'll see the things he has learned. We we'll see the things probably which I tried to teach him in the initial few days. And today the roles will be reversed. I'll be in the student shoes. I'll be trying to learn from him because he's been doing very well as a powerlifter in state and junior levels. We we'll try to see what cues we can learn from him to get better at the uh, movements. We will go through an intense back workout together at one of the my favorite gyms in the city. So stay tuned. Watch till the very end. and this is something which you will definitely like i know the videos have been less but i'll promise you now that videos as i'm solely about to complete one year of creating content here on youtube videos will be coming more frequently so if you haven't already like the video comment down below what you want to see more of and definitely 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 hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications new content exciting content coming up every single week in the past few years of working with hundreds of people this guy right here has been one of those who has Yeah, I feel so happy to have seen his growth. He came to me in 11th grade wanting to get get a six pack set of abs, but slowly with his passion and with his drive, he got into his love for powerlifting and it's a very wholesome joy for any teacher to see his student or his trainee to surpass him with all his lifts at one point of time and today like I said, I am going to be assuming the role of a role of a student and he's going to teach me his things that he's introduced and incorporated into his workout to get better at his lifts so are you ready to introduce yourself to the audience yeah like he mentioned uh, i started off i told to said how to make abs in 5 minutes when it did fail very horribly uh, he told me that it's not how it works you can't get abs in 2 days or even 2 years 2 years in my case but what he did teach me properly was how to lift and how to be disciplined about most things in life and that has paid quite well in my life and i'm eternally thankful for that And it's a very wholesome feeling to say I use this word a lot wholesome but he came to me in 11th grade and right now while when I see him is graduated his college it feels nice to see that probably the little kid that I saw in front of me is grown up into a big man here today and doing big things so I'll drop his Instagram down below definitely go and check out his profile sure. he's doing big things with his own startup as well that he's working on very talented guy both inside and outside the gym so Aryan what are you going to teach me today with your deadlifts in today's session I'll try to show him how so much deadlift box because I know it very well that he does not uh, like it that much and he doesn't use it as much but as still be doing conventional but the cues that he has learned so in his the gym we used to train at and we have grown up training like he's worked in different gyms at a different state so we'll try to see if the lifting culture there is any different or do the basics remain the same all like anywhere in the world and plus like what are the things which you would probably say that you have incorporated into your training over the past couple of years that has brought about big change and for any aspiring lifter who is in college who is a student because you have managed to balance both so beautifully like being a student and still kind of excelling at your lifting journey what would be these three pointers that you would say that people should follow students who are in college who want to excel at lifting if it's specifically lifting i would say tread carefully try not to be reckless because it's very easy to be when you're starting off and when the pre workout is in your hand it's very easy to want be wanting to lift the heavier weights without understanding why you're lifting them and uh, what the impact of it could be uh, case in point few of my friends who lift very well and are in states and compete very well uh, they've suffered some serious injuries just because of their uh, inflated ego and uh, them trying to recreate what they see on instagram so i would say just try to be less naive about it um, go with your own pace you will for sure get somewhere and don't try to copy others and compare with others because that's not going to get you anywhere mm. your own pace your own growth is what matters and that by itself should be the only thing that you should care about Yeah. So all people, so everybody who writes in the comments, sir, I'm a student. I'm a, I'm in college. How do I go about things? You can see this guy, just 22 years old, built like a tank, and doing very well for himself, both inside and outside the gym. So definitely, if you have any queries, 
drop it down in the comments below and both of us will try to reach out to you until then like let's enjoy friction and let's start off with the workout As you can see from right here, if you want to lift big numbers, mobility, correct warming up, and good flexibility, always of paramount importance. Now the first thing that I noticed was you went through quite an extensive drill for your warm ups right before you approach the lift so yeah. what are the things you are essentially looking to warm up when you before you approach the deadlift uh so i warm up mostly because of my severe paranoia of injury <laughs> so there's that uh i try to warm up my back and my glutes and hams properly because i try to pull over most of the time right. which is uh, according to some people not deadlift not a deadlift but uh, that's what i can do so for that i need my hams firing and my glutes firing so that i use the kettlebell i mm. have my mobility routine which i follow almost every day which you saw in the montage clip earlier like starting from ankle mobility to yeah. drills for the hamstring to glutes so essentially if you want to pull good numbers this is something which you definitely don't want to skip yeah. it's apparently a deadlift this is what a deadlift should look like mm. not what i will be doing after this just a, yeah but this for just, all the just word of portion today not my best state today not feeling the best like like a little unwell today not not at my best energy but we'll still try to power through and still try to salvage this workout so uh, three plates minimum na na three plates at minimum for so this stance what i'm going to do now this is what the lightest guy to pull 500 kilos does which is apparently not a deadlift but still this is the form basics will always remain the same what you can do pulling the bar close to the body getting the bar off the floor using the hamstrings and then a strong lockout driving the glutes forward on top the mechanics remain the same there's a little difference in position as to what suits each individual better the right way to start deadlift is this hinging motion it's very understand that you know it's not a squat in the starting position it's an angle where you can leverage all of your posterior to make the lift easier that is what i what he taught me over the course of the first 6 months of our training so 6 months of him with a pvc pipe in his hand hitting me and saying hinge yelling hinge so there's that jahan deadlift korte re to puro boshto na ejon theke hamstring er lathi niye hamstring pok pok kore mar porto kore kore ekhon bujhte parini ora ekhon ekhon ami onno dher gandi hinge you used to stay in the south how would you say the lifting culture is different in that regard over there as compared to here in bengal quality of lifters would be pretty similar but the popularity of the sport over there is way more As and any difference in like the way they train how they approach the lifts and difference in techniques patterns programming they actually enjoy the culture instead of just trying to find a way to bag a record or like a certificate it's uh, like you would see everybody trying to emulate this guy called Aaron Pulls he's he has a world record in deadlifting and what not and he trains in Mangalore most of the time so there's that culture of people looking up to people are like our age mm. and essentially influences basically so if you see a, a state competition over there in Karnataka you would see like five to six influencers pulling up to that place and there are popular brands endorsing that uh, space and there are endorsements mm -hmm. of all forms and shapes point being that the culture over there is actually enjoyed as a sport you know you left me lonely i could tell the whole story it may take a couple hours i've got time let's get this out you got to explain this you're approaching the bar 
what are the things you keep in mind as you are going down towards the bar i mean i don't lift that well i mean he thinks i lift well but i, I don't think it's anything anything great at all but this part of your lift is where i face the most anxiety so what i've learned over the years is to calm that part down just treat it as, as if it's nothing at all and then once right when i touch the bar and i pull the slack and slack there is a insanely important thing which i learned this year properly break, break like. it down into like beginners what is pulling the slack out of the bar so the three step maneuver would be get rid of your anxiety in the first part of the lift use ammonia think about the worst things in your life or whatever the hell you what works for you but just get your anxiety out of your system as much as possible because it's really not going to help you <sighs> once that is out of the way yeah smell your ammonia or think about whatever the hell you want to think about then you focus on slack it doesn't matter if you're pulling sumo or conventional pull you the want to slack pull kirakom hai you want to pull out the slack it's essentially it's hard to explain i'll just show it to you just that 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 has a serious impact on your on the quality of your entire lift it's just minimal thing can affect like a serious scale of that this go ham and make sure you are medicated properly like pre workout crack coke whatever <laughs> you're using make sure it's in the right amount and the right ratio because yeah you don't want to miscalculate lifting after 3 and a half months because i injured my my back in the last comp so this is not as good as i can lift so you can see one thing the way he's setting up to the lift he's putting himself in the most optimal position to pull the most amount of weight so your setup and how you approach the bar that is the most important so develop your like you see in cricket a batsman how he stands before he faces each delivery similarly before you approach your lift put yourself in the most optimal position to pull the most amount of weight that won't happen in one day develop that with time learn that over try out different taxi different methods and see what works for you the best is ask how do we manage budget if you are a student learn from this guy কলেজের পকেট মানি বাঁচে এসবিডি বেল্ট কিনে কত টাকা দিয়ে বেল্ট কিনেছো দাম 20000 টাকা বাট ওই হ্যাঁ দুই মাসের খাবার মোটামুটি ঘেটে খাওয়া হয়ে গিয়েছিল বাট ওয়ার্থ ইট অ্যাবসলিউটলি ওয়ার্থ ইট ইফ ইউ ক্যান বাই এন এসবিডি বেল্ট প্লিজ গো এড ইফ ইউ আর প্যাশনেট अबाउट সামথিং ইউ উইল ফাইন্ড আ ওয়ে সো ডোন্ট মেক এক্সকিউজেস টু টেক দিস গাই এজ আ প্রাইম एग्जांपल देयर সো মেনি अदर्स अराउंड यू लुक अराउंड यू ইফ ইউ লাভ সামথিং ইউ ক্যান মেক দ্য রাইট অ্যামাউন্ট অফ স্যাক্রিফাইস দ্যাট উইল অবভিয়াসলি এক্সেল এন্ড হেল্প ইন ইওর স্পোর্ট jump from 150 to 180 took so long but because once you keep on persevering and once you keep on training you went on from 180 to what's your max deadlift now 230 230 kg that's a huge jump so that's what the initial few stages will be a bit challenging but if you keep persevering sky is the limit for you i mean breaking plateaus is going to be hard and also 230 is not that big a deal whoever you are you're watching you can it's not that hard to crack but yeah you have to be stupidly optimistic about your final potential mm. because most of the times you will hit your ceiling very fast and people will tell you that that's it but yeah, i think being delusional might pay off sometimes yo che sab it is actual workout baaki sab accessory you should have can't get through to me it's not you yet it's always me i close my heart to you you see it opens up for nobody it's been so hard to fall sleep the weather always makes my nose bleed makes my nose bleed it's so hard to believe that one day i'll feel peace i want control over my life i want that driver's seat yeah it's not you that i need you push me down when i'm weak you were never there for me go pick up your keys and leave i can't go back to you my friend don't need us don't play pretend you think you're
can't go back to you, my friend. Don't even ask, don't play pretend. Cause you think you want everything I need. Yeah, I got the juice, yeah, I got the juice. We can cool, make them look like cool. So with that we come to the end of the video. It was a lovely session and lovely catching up with other people I've seen grow over the years. So always have an open mind, never be too rigid in your approach that if if you know if you have been doing something more than longer than anybody that you would not want to know from them. I learned so many things from him today and I hope you guys learned so many things from him today about how to balance out your college life and your lifting career. So on that note, this is me Rangeet signing off. This is Arun Mukherjee. I'll drop his Instagram in the his best below. student. <laughs> so if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, turn on bell notifications. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.